Thanks for supporting the channel by clicking the links in the description box. And thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And now let's get into this conversation. I work hard, bitch. When I asked for a raise, I wasn't bullshitting. It was real. I wanted a motherfucking raise because I work hard. You know, putting on shoes, zipping up dresses, got them running bags from here to there, holding seven bags, walking through the motherfucking airport, being a friend. But at the end of the day, if my friend not paying me and Viacom is paying me, then I should be able to get a raise. My Viacom check don't got shit to do with her. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, it may be your show, but my check ain't got to do with you. Like, what I make ain't got to do with you. Stop playing with me, though. I'm going to be on here 50 hours a day when I want to be on here. Stop playing with me. It ain't worth it. And I still want humble. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really letting these children know you cannot come up because you latch on to a celebrity and think that's the way it go. You still got to work. You still got to work. Go to motherfucking work. That's my fucking point. And you may be famous, okay? Fame don't pay your motherfucking bills. That's my motherfucking point. That's all that video we're talking about. And why y'all always want to remix the shit? That cool. Shakana is lying. She ain't took me out no motherfucking streets, bitch. Who told you that? <coughs> y'all done rewrote the wrong life. She ain't took me out no street. She ain't took me out no streets. She not take me out no streets. I don't know where you get this shit from, but okay. Anyhow, back to what I was saying. You have to work. You know what I'm saying? You have to work. You got to work. It ain't about leaning on somebody else. It's about leaning on you. And at the end of the day, that's where that whole big old conversation came from. Cause let me motherfucker know, like, you want to be on TV. You want to know the ride. You want to be known so bad. But when you get there, what you going to do? Especially when you got them, what you going to do? How you going to keep the money going? Huh? Oh, because this shit here don't keep no money going. It ain't nothing about being better than nothing. That's what this conversation even was about. So, I'm not in my feelings. I don't feel hurt. I'm not sad. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. It's okay. I know it's tripping. You know what I'm saying? I stated my point. That is what it is. And it is what it is. I just say you got to work. Don't think you connected to no motherfucking celebrity. And that bitch is, they, it's not their job to take care of you. Okay? I want you to understand that. It's not somebody else's job to take care of you. That's my goddamn point. No one took care of me. That's all I want you to know. I had to work. See, that's all I was saying. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was gonna go so left because I was just explaining the story that I worked. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> to offend someone, and I'm sorry that I have to be connected to these to people sometimes because people come over here bringing up people. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't break up people night. I don't. People bring people name up to me. In the comments, I don't care. I'm sorry, I don't care. But I always love you. Love your mama, love your children. You know what I'm saying? You alright with me? I ain't got no problem with you, girl. I just was saying these folks need to work. They do. I don't know. Who cares? It's an illusion that I have nothing to do with. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Bitch, I'm not crying, ho. You look like I'm crying. Who? <laughs> I'm not crying. I don't have nothing to cry about. I don't have nothing to cry about. Because mm. I want to be. What you going to do about it? Fuck you tomorrow. Let me help you out. Because <laughs> ain't nobody from the team over there on her team can't even step forward. What about her friends? I'm not her friends. I'm, you know. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Being Beautifully Honest channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you know whenever I do upload a new video. And right now we're going to have a podversation about this situation with Shekinah and Tiny. Now, I've listened to the video that she did. I didn't see her live, but I did catch the replay and I listened to it a few times and I'll just be quite honest I you know 
people can lie. People can steer away from the entire truth. And they always say there's two sides to the story, their side, your side, and the truth. Here's the thing. I don't, I, I get what people are saying when they make that statement. And it's a very general statement, but I've never 100% agreed with that because what that when people make that statement what that is pretty much saying is that both sides are going to just tell a version of the truth but none of them are really telling the truth and i don't believe that because there are people that tell the truth there are people that are honest and there are some people that will go to the depths for people that they feel are their friends to cover things up and so sometimes they will tell a lie for a friend for the sake of covering up the truth or just trying to protect a friend and then when stuff goes down and the friendship goes sour then truth starts to be revealed and here's the thing everybody deals with hurt and pain in different ways everybody does and there are some people that say, oh, well, if you are really a friend to somebody, I don't care what happens between you. Once the friendship ends, you should never divulge secrets. You should never tell stuff that you wasn't going to say when you were still friends with that person. And I get that. I, I get that to a certain extent. But if what was covered up is damaging you or has hurt you in some way, then you kind of have the right to to you know protect yourself and to reveal the truth now there are some people that say she kind of she just runs her mouth and she's always she's always talking online she's always going live she's always saying stuff that she shouldn't be saying and that could be true i don't follow her i don't know a whole lot about her so i'm not here to say that's not the truth or that is the truth about her talking all the time and airing stuff out but I'm just here to talk about this specific video and when she shared the situation about how she was pretty much taken advantage of a lot over the years because of the talents and the creativity she has as a, well, she wasn't licensed at first, hairstylist, they used the fact that she did not have her license to take advantage of her to not pay her what she should have been paid. And then not only that, she really wasn't getting her just due even after that because she was saying, you know, I only got paid this much for doing these different things. And listen, I get it when you are, especially in this industry, because I get it, I'm not a hairstylist, but I'm in the industry. When you're really serious about your craft and you enjoy doing what you do, you do end up giving a lot to get to where you want to be. I've never had a desire to work with celebrities, but when you're trying to build and grow, there are times where you are not getting paid what you should be getting paid or what you desire to get paid. And there are some times when you're working for flat out free, but it's for promotion or publicity or even to just build up your skills. So you do what you gotta do. So I didn't take what she was saying as complaining about anything. What she was doing was letting people know that they didn't give me anything. I worked hard to get everything that I have. And yes, my connection to her has helped to catapult me to other platforms, to being able to be on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and, and getting the exposure that she's had over the years. And she and Tiny even had a show, I don't know how many seasons it had because I never watched it, but it was a show about a uh, weave mobile. <laughs> and they were traveling around in this camper style um, weave mobile where they were going, well, of course, Tiny wasn't gonna be doing any hair, but Shekinah would be doing hair, you know, and it was like a mobile thing. I think it was called a weave trip or something like that. But anyway, yeah, if it were not for her connection to T.I. and Tiny, would she have ever had a show like that? Probably not. So again, I don't get her saying the things that she was saying as her complaining, but I believe 
what she was saying. I do believe the things that she was saying and I really wanna know what you guys think. So you can let me know what you think in the comment section if you wanna leave a comment about what she was saying. Do you believe that she was telling the truth about, about Tiny? Because she said like the things that I was saying to take up for Tiny and her husband with that, you know, that crazy situation. And I'm not going to go into all of those details, but she said Tiny was in the room with me. She was here when I was saying those things. She was telling me what to say. She was actually in the background laughing. I don't really think she would lie about something like that. Anything is possible, but the fact that she would come out after after saying all of those things after defending her friends to come out later and say that i was actually told by her to say those things i don't know what goes on between her and her husband and in their private personal you know bedrooms and and when they're traveling around and and doing whatever because i've never been involved in that stuff i don't know what they really do and I tend to side with her and agree with her there because um, the girl, I believe her name is Latasha Scott from the group Escape. She was interviewed by Wendy Williams several weeks ago and Wendy asked her about the allegations and she said, I don't believe that, you know, that's true because that's just not their character. They've never displayed those things to me. Well, if you're not involved in that stuff with them, why would they display that to you? That's their personal time and whatever they do. And like, who, you know what I'm saying? It, that's what I tend to believe that Shekinah is telling the truth about this situation. It may sound crazy and far-fetched. Some people may say, no, that girl's lying. She's just mad because she's not friends with them anymore. They dumped her to the sides. And so now she's out for vengeance. I don't really believe that she would do that because how far would that really get her? How far would that really get her to lie on them to say those things? I believe that she's telling the truth. I do believe that she's telling the truth because why would, it, it wouldn't be good for Tiny to come out and say, yeah, I know we're not friends anymore, but she's telling the truth. I told her to say those things. She was just covering up for me because <laughs> that would, that would, you know, give people more, you know, whatever the word is, but that would give people more, aha, these allegations, maybe all of them aren't true, but maybe some of them are. If Tiny were to come out and say that she had fed some information to her then friend Shekinah to say, well, weren't you the one that was helping them and doing this and doing that? Like it wouldn't, it would not make sense for Tiny to come out and say that Shekinah is telling the truth and she told her to say those things. It wouldn't. She will never do that. She is ride or die with her man. She's ride or die with her husband. Shekinah was collateral damage and Shekinah learned that she was not really a friend, but she was the help. All along, she was the help. And that is a very fine line, which I will probably talk about more on a podcast than on here when it comes to being a professional, especially in the beauty industry and becoming friends with clients. That's a very, very, very touchy subject and something that you have to be very, very careful with. I'm not saying that they were not really friendly and they didn't become really close, but when it comes to them just being like really true, genuine friends, I don't believe that that was ever really a friendship. It was really just Shekinah was the help and Tiny kept her close because she really needed her. She needed her for what she needed her for. She needed her for her, the group that she had, the that her daughter used to be in and, and all of those things. And so, and she was cheap labor, period. And I don't know what it is about a lot of these celebrities. And that's one of the reasons why as a beauty professional, I've never had a desire to be come someone that worked with celebrities. I'm not saying that it doesn't have its perks. I'm not saying it doesn't work for some people. It works out great for a lot of people, but trust me when I say there are more people out there that have complaints about working with celebrities when 
there are people like this, the people like the tinies of the world. Um, and I'm just using her as a reference point, but just using her as a reference point because of what Shekinah said that she had done for all of those years by paying, you know, like $120 for uh, hair extensions, sew-ins, like, mm -mm. no, Tiny has had money and fame for a very long time. And the hours that it takes to do that type of work, like that is ridiculous. So it was like, oh yeah, this is somebody that we can really get some cheap labor on. And I'm not gonna call any names, but I can remember even being approached about doing a beauty service for someone that wasn't even a celebrity celebrity at the time, but there was someone that had been on television and is the sister of a very large celebrity right now. And I'm just gonna leave it at that but they didn't want to pay anything. And I'm like, next, I don't need that. Like my clients pay. <laughs> and so I just, I just say all of that to say, Shekinah was the help and she learned that she was the help. And now that she's being put in a position where she's lost people that she thought were friends. She said she lost friends. I always say, if you lose people like that, they were never really your friends. But she said she's lost friends, people, that she was friends with before they've sided with tiny and they're you know now friends with her and they don't talk to her anymore i mean she's better without those people than with them they've shown their true colors and like um maya angelo said a very long time ago when someone shows you who they are believe them but basically she kind of she was collateral damage she learned that she was the help and it hurts but tiny she's going to stick it out with her man and her husband and it's going to be that way over any friend really anybody that thought that they were friends it's always going to be her husband over them period so I do believe that Shekinah is telling the truth and it's one of those situations that you kind of put yourself in that position if you come out and say one thing before and then you come out later and say well actually that was not the truth I lied about that but this is what actually happened you're always going to have the people that are not going to believe you later and they're going to say oh no you're lying now and you're only saying this now because you're hurt and you're not friends with them anymore but stuff happens so I just really want to know what you guys think. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section, but thank you so much. I appreciate you liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until the next episode, I'm just being beautifully honest.